Now, what I'm doing here is I've got to take this plate off and first I've got to get the salt out of here. I'm just going to strip my bolt out. Um, this is the plate I've been using to create the designs. I'm going to do a quick demonstration here of what it looks like with the salt on black. And then let me go get my salt. This is Hane sea salt. Now first I'm gonna get my cloth here. I just used a metal file to um, file the edge of this right here a little bit. Because you don't want it perfectly flat. Um, curved a little bit is good. I'm going to actually try to experiment and perfect what that edge is like because that makes a huge difference the edge the bow is rubbing against. So like this with a bounce dryer sheet. Get rid of the static. Salt. I just need a screw to rosin. This says it's Hydrosine, improved rosin, 1B violin made in England. Works pretty good for me. I don't know if it's the best or anything. Tightening this bow up. I don't store it tight, but it needs to be nice and tight in order to create the vibration on the metal. And I'm tightening it much more than you would for a violin. Hopefully, I'm not going to snap it. Tightening it about as tight as it will go.
Yeah, this resin is actually really nice. It loosens up well. The other stuff I had would just sort of break when I tried to do that. Most of it down here because this is where it's really going to be. I'm not a violinist, so if you're a violinist, you're probably watching me do this and saying, I'm just doing it wrong. But and then I'm going to put some on the edge of the plate as well. just learned that rosin is actually a kind of tree set, I think. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like glass from the way it looks when it broke it. a little hard to, to get started with this if you haven't done it before. Um, with the bowing, if you let it slide too easily when you're trying to get started, you'll just go like that. It's not going to do anything. You need to press hard when you're starting it so that it kind of sticks and you can feel it sticking. And then you start, it starts vibrating and then you just keep going. to hold it underneath. It needs to, screen needs to be, bolt needs some more pox under there. 